Hello and welcome back super mums. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to make those tricky new year's resolutions stick. <laughs> please make sure you're liking, sharing and subscribing so we can help inspire other mums. I cannot believe it is nearly 2019. Even worse, I keep referring to the year after, the 2020. That just seems a really strange thing to say, if nothing else. But 2019, another year has passed. Are you living your dream life? Are you happy with everything that's in your life? Mm then maybe it's time to consider what is gonna be your New Year's resolution. Now, there might be lots of changes you want to make in your life, but I think it's a really good start to just have one New Year's resolution. What's the one thing that's gonna have the most impact on your life? That's where you focus in on. And today we're gonna to look at some other tips for making those New Year's resolutions stick. So, let's get accountable first and foremost and pop our New Year's resolutions in the comments down below. So number one, researching. Make sure you've researched how other people have done this New Year's resolution. Uh, obvious resource, YouTube. Stick in your New Year's resolution into the search box and really get to grips with what other people have done to make this resolution a success. Number two, have a positivity tribe. Surrounding yourself by positive energy, go-getters, people that are achieving or want to achieve more, it's gonna be a much better environment for helping you succeed. This is why I wanted to create the Super Mums Community Group, which we now host over on Facebook. I'll link that down below. Maybe you can find some positive energy in there. I sure have. <laughs> be realistic. Okay, if you're five foot four, you're not gonna be five foot 11 by the end of the year. It's just not realistic. Have a realistic goal. Now, sometimes your goal, your resolution could be something massive, but maybe it won't be done in a year. If you've got lots of weight to lose, you might need a couple of years to really get there. Really think through, is this physically possible? Physically possible. Now, I do not believe in limiting your dreams, but I am a realistic person. I am a positive realist. Positive realist. So be positive, you can do amazing things, but is this something that's physically impossible? So make it measurable. Now this isn't just the end goal, but it's also the stages along the way. A lot of people New Year's resolutions seem to revolve around weight, health and fitness. So I'm gonna use that as an example. What is it that you want to be at the end? Is it that you want to look a certain way? You can't measure how you look as such. So. Have you been a weight before that made you look the way you wanted to look? If not, I don't like using the weight, but that's the one kind of caveat. Uh, is there a body fat percentage? Maybe look at people that look the certain way and open up that conversation about body fat percentage. Because for me, that's how I track my goal. Mine is so much about body fat percentage. And if you want to know more about that, reach out to me. I will quite happily have a conversation with you about that too. It could be a BMI thing, particularly if you've got a health related issue, then I do feel like BMI is quite a useful way of tracking it. Maybe it's a certain centimeter. Have you got a dress that used to fit that doesn't now? Measure that dress and that is your measurable goal and then break it down into stages so that you know each month what number is it that you're looking to come to like compare it to so you know you're on track don't give up just because you get a puncture in one tire does not mean you slash the rest of them that is crazy talk one slip up does not mean you have broken your new year's resolution the only way to know if you've broken your new year's resolution is if you've got to the complete end of the year and not done anything even if only one day a month you are working on that resolution. You are still working on that resolution. Do not give up. It's okay to have a bad day. It's okay to have a bad week, but do not use that as an excuse to stop it altogether because this thing mattered to you. Remember, it mattered to you and stick to it. Start them early. So I will quite often start my New Year's resolution in November or December. I make the mistakes in November, December, and by January, it's much more ingrained in me. It's already become a bit more of a habit. It's likely to be much more consistent, and that really helps you stay on track. So once you've decided what it's gonna be, start doing it now. Sew them in to the routine of your life. Block it out 
in your calendar, if it's an exercise thing, if it's eating better, if it's meditating, if it's getting up earlier, if it's going to bed earlier, put it in your calendar, make it part of your routine, make it part of your identity. I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again. Oh.